threatening officers with an armed weapon. You sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, Joe. Hey, Joe, sit down. I know that. Sit down. For lying and refusing to make arrests. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, yes, you are, because they're watching. No. The kids' gloves are all the way on when these cops have to arrest one of their own. Disclaimer. On December 23rd, 2017, the village of Brattenall police spotted an SUV on the side of the road with its engine running and stopped to check what was going on. He's breathing. Yeah. He said he's breathing. I don't know. He's breathing. See if he, see if the door's unlocked. All right, I, I can't tell if it's in gear or not. All right. Police. Open the window. Open the window. Sir, open the window. But instead of following orders, the man behind the wheel had other ideas. Open the window. Stop. can't reach. Stop now! Here, open the door. I can't go get to the... But if you think the officers were amped up for one of their crazy arrests, think again. No! 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 Put Police department, up. stop! Put your hands up, right now! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Keep them up, keep them up, now! Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, I'm gonna tase you. That flag wasn't just a random fashion statement. This was East Cleveland police officer Joseph Marsh, who was supposed to be on a stakeout. Instead, he'd gotten drunk and was questioning the cops for interrupting his nap. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? Yeah. Happy 14. I couldn't get into that window for nothing. I couldn't, it would not break. Gun. <laughs> Who do you work for? Who do you work for? What's going on with you? Why are you my problem? I'm burning my head. Who are you working for? Who are you work for? After Joseph was carefully put into the car, the officers found a loaded automatic weapon in his car. That's an MP5. What's that? That's an MP5. So why don't you do this, why don't we do this? How about me and you go back to the station, Shana stays here, we'll process him. When they get here, process them. We'll write them all up and everything. Tell them to come and pick him up. Okay. How do you feel that? Sounds good to me. You okay with that? Yeah. You sure? You guys yeah. okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. All right. good with that. This right here is the moment the supervisor realized his body cam was on. So regular drunks bond out. But police drunks who resist arrest get to be picked up by their teammates. I sure hope there weren't actual crimes going on in the city that day. At the station, the officers kept coddling him, but Joseph didn't think he'd done anything wrong, and even threatened the officer. Listen to me, I'm gonna give you respect. All right, all right. Listen to Please me, do. you're wasted. You sit down, Listen. sit down, sit down, Listen. sit down, Joe. Hey, Joe, oh, sit that. down. I know that. that. Sit down. I understand that. Right showing a gun to an officer and not getting tackled to the ground? Well, you don't see that every day. On top of it, you have all your turnout gear, your kit in the back. Then you have a V7 in I the do. back. I do. Come on, sir. I do. I'm not trying, no disrespect at all. I respect well, you. Know you. What? All right? Yeah. You, you, you were passed out on my side street. Right. All right? 
But even with everything he was getting away with, Joseph didn't think this was enough and continued running his mouth. I hate to do this to you. I really I'm do. Not, I'm not doing anything. Oh, sit down. Sit down. I'm not doing sit, Joe. All right, that's fine. Sit down. You no know, problem. You know. You know. Sit down. You know. Sit down, Joe. You know. Sit down, please. You know. Sit down. I do. I get it. But you, it. you put my teammates in a bad position. I, and I get I don't it. I put your guys in a bad position. Let's Joe, go. you were okay. passed out on the side of the street, sir. Okay. You were passed out no. over there. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. go ahead. You could talk. No, go ahead. You were passed out on the side of the street. My partner had to freaking knock on the window several times. You put it in park and went to drive away. And I know for a fact the way you're handling yourself right now, if yeah. this was EC and someone did that to you, you'd be doing the same thing, sir. You know what? You know I'm right. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Tell you what. You're starting to smirk because you no, know I'm right. No, I'll tell you what. I probably would. I know. I, I know. Would. I probably would. But I would not jam up one of your guys. What am I supposed to do? You're jamming me up. I'm not jamming you up. Yes, you I'm are. I'm processing you and having your teammates come and get you. Jamming me up. He really thought the cops, who were already handling him with kid gloves, were not doing enough. When the officers, who were going to take this drunk home, showed up, Joseph refused to leave. You want to come here? I want, I want Scott here. One my boss here. Okay. All right, yeah, Donaldson just coming back to the station with us. Yeah, we can talk there. Listen, I'm getting charged with DUI. Okay. I'm, I'm not I'm not all over that. You know what I mean? I hear you. I'm on my boss now. Okay. I, 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 I understand. So they, yeah. they said you've been being cool with them. You know, they, they would just they don't let me take you in your car back to the barn. Joe, I want my boss here. Okay. All right, let, let, me, let me call Dunlap and see if we can get him down here, okay? No, not Dunlap. Joseph was convicted of operating a vehicle while intoxicated, but don't get your hopes up. He only got 30 days suspension without pay. And even though his driver's license was suspended, he was granted work driving privileges. A regular John Doe would never have gotten away with even half of what he did. And that's not the only time a cop has thrown a tantrum for not getting their way. Put him in front of me! Just, I'm begging you nicely, oh, put him in front of me. But first, on January 1st, 2021, a Gainesville police officer, Brooke Shutterly, responded to a car crash and found her supervisor, Scott Burtsick, on the scene. But it wasn't because he got there before her. And you are Silver Car? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, if you want to go back over there, I'll come get your info in just a second. All right. So, uh... Yeah, reached out for my lighter slammed into his ass. Cool. No, not really. Not really. Yeah. He didn't want to do an information exchange? No, he does. I just, no, now I found it. Okay. Well. Okay. If you want to the information exchange, now I found it. Alright. Are you okay? Oh yeah, no, I'm good. Your no, airbag went off. Your car's fucked up. Oh, no, absolutely. Brooke had been all chatty with Scott, but when she talked to the actual victim, Tevin Gardner, she totally switched up and even tried to brush the entire incident under the carpet. You guys had talked about exchanging information, but he hadn't had his insurance pulled up. Yeah. Um, we have a couple options with this. It's really cut and dry, so if you want to just go through insurance, you can. If you want a full-fledged report, we can do that, however you want to go about it. How long will the report take? A long time? Um, it usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes for me to get the driver's exchange done. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Okay. Can I get your driver's license and if you have your registration as well? And are you the registered owner of the car? Yes, sir. Perfect. Did you have any passengers? Yeah, Okay. Is he still here? Yeah, he's Okay, cool. Is the guy with the hat on? Yes, ma'am. This right here. Yes, sir. This right here. Yeah. So a couple things. One, do you mind giving me like a couple feet? One, because I like personal space, and two, because cigarette smoke, it's really, it tears me up a little bit. You could almost see the tears in her eyes when she went back to Scott with the sad news. All right, Birdie, he wants the report. It's fine. You got your driver's license? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing the car's registered to you? Yep. Thank you, thank you. You know I don't need that. Should hypothetically auto-populate. Like all that wasn't special treatment already, she tried to find out what she could do for him. Give me a second, because I'm going to call Priester and 
see if he needs me to do anything special since it's one of us. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, give me a minute. Yep. Sorry, Birdie. Hey, this crash, um, Birdie, is yeah, so come work it. Okay. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've worked a crash with one of us in it, so. No, he's not on duty. He's in his POV. But I just didn't want there to be any, like, conflict of interest type issues. All right. That was it. I just want to make sure. All right. Bye. You good? Way on his way. Huh? Way on his way. He's not coming. Good? Walking home, but yep, I'm good. I'm sure Neil would come get you if you need. I mean, he's up. I texted him. You don't need EMS? No. Hey, man, your airbag deployed. I gotta ask. Funny how his smoking doesn't seem to bother her one bit. Plus, she never asked Tevin if he needed EMS. All right. Here's that back. And then I'm not sure where your brother went, but I have his license too. You right now. Oh, okay. I'm going to just go hand this to him real quick and then it will be done. But because Tevin insisted on a report, their little plan to make the accident just go away was not going to happen. Are they still in it or no? Yeah, he's still in it. Is he really? So, Birdie, you, you giving me some indicators? Oh. Listen. Listen. Shit, woman. Listen. <laughs> Valdez is coming out just to. I, I'm not gonna lie to you about it. She's on her way? Yeah, she's on her way. I'm not really comfortable with this whole thing at all, but I'm not gonna lie to you about it. Oh no. I, I, I don't mean to put you in that indie. Yep. From now on, you know how it goes. You can't consume anything, okay? Because right now you, you're being detained. Are you on? Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm going to remain on. Fair enough. Because I... Integrity. I'm sorry. That didn't stop her from comforting Scott for risking another person's life. Whatever. Divorce is divorce. But the supervisor wasn't any better. Great stuff. Okay. But well aware. Pretty sure that's the people I ran into. And they will still be sitting in their car. She wants to do DUI, do it. I'm not gonna put you in that spot, I can put her in that spot. She made me aware of who it was. Go ahead. So. Well aware. Okay. Fair enough. You just saw me walk up, so no, I, 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 I really I, don't know. I don't know. I, I could if go she ask, told them, but... If she told them that I'm law enforcement, that's 100%. You can't consume anything. You're killing me. I'm trying. I'm going to check on these because they're bothering me. Okay. If that makes sense. No. It doesn't. You'll soon see what the officers didn't want Tevin to see. You're gonna stand like this until I advise you to do otherwise. Six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think balance is your problem, Scott, but Scott's stumbles were not convincing enough. So at this time, I'm asking you to come with me to the station to provide a breath sample. Walking off would get a regular person taste, but Scott got to sit with the officers and even got hugs. A lot of hugs. There's things that we can do to fix this, buddy. It is for my kids, my family, everything.
When it was time to put him in the back seat, he won't believe who insisted on putting the cuffs on. Put him on. I'm not going to cuff you. Oh, yes, you are, because they're watching. No. Yes, you are. They're watching. You've been compliant. Can I at least cuff you in the front? Yeah. Who knew compliant people got cuffed in the front? Not me. At the station, Brooke couldn't get the cuffs off fast enough. She also made sure to give a few more hugs. You know, just in case he hadn't gotten enough of those. But Scott wanted a little more than that. They put you in the thing. Right. Right. I'm gonna be off the air in a minute anyway. Yeah, I'm still on. I can't do FSEs. <laughs> Listen, if you blow and you're good, then we're golden. It's a lot different when they ask you in an interview, saying, hey, you know, what would you do if this happened to... I know. You're kidding. Believe me. So proud. <laughs> and so sorry. All at the same time. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Scott's blood came back twice the limit. He was charged with driving under the influence with property damage and was sentenced to 50 hours of community service and a six months driver's license suspension. He also paid a fine of $974 and had to attend various substance abuse and DUI classes. It's a good thing Scott got all those hugs under his belt because he was sued by the driver and passenger of the vehicle. As crazy as that was, wait till you find out why one cop was bawling like a baby. On July 18th, 2023, a crazy scene played out at a bar and grill in Mount Dora. A man choking out a woman and hitting her head against the railings. The police were called to the scene, and after watching the surveillance video, they went to Joshua Somer's home and put him in cuffs. Want to know why this guy knew the drill? Well, he wasn't just anyone, he was a Groveland cop. That didn't stop him from getting the chance to stretch his legs, though. I got you. I got you. And I just stand... <sighs> I'm not... I'm not gonna fight Listen. you, I'm not gonna... For you, like, there's nothing. While they waited, Josh told the cops his side of the story. I, I walked outside, onto the patio. If it's comfort for you, you can get out now. Just, I, I was on the, uh, I was inside. Okay. I walked outside, and I asked where one of our friends' wives was, and, oh, um, and she got pissed and got with me, so I got her hair, and I was like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Like she was, and I was like, get the away from us. I will f you up. And we left and came home and okay. everything's fine. Josh continued to stretch his legs while chatting with the cops about work, but he's about to find out what it feels like to be on the other side of the law. I tried to give me a call back. Alcibar, he's already been searched. Get him in the car. As Josh realized he wasn't going to get away with it, he started to lose it. These guys, I'm not going to fight you. You know that. You know I'm not going to fight you. We're not. Not, We're not putting them in the... I know your policy is behind the back. If you weren't drunk, Please. I might, but you're drunk, Josh. Get in the back. Sir? Josh, get in the car. I am car. claustrophobic as... Please, sir. I'm you begging are, you. Man. I will get in the car. Okay, get in Please. The car. Just take... Just put them in front of me. Just, I'm begging you nicely, oh, put him in front of me. Please. Josh, get, get in the car, come on. You're about to get more charges, come on. Hey, sit down. You're good. Oh my God. Right. Huh? Take, take a breath. breath. Take a breath. Josh, take a breath. I can't, I can't. What an embarrassment. And Josh wasn't done either. I'm not going to fight you. I'm no. I will go. Fix I will this, go fix without... This, fix this handcuffs. We'll do two. Can we do two handcuffs? It'll be better. No, but just... Oh, 
I'm gonna put them I'm up not, front, dog. I'm not kidding. We'll give you two cups, okay? <sighs> Just take a breath. You're standing. You're not even in the car, dog. I know. I'm fully aware right. of where I'm at okay. right now. I'm. Watch out. Watch out. Please. Just oh my god. Make sure they're loose. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not going anywhere. You can take them big okay, and do so whatever. Stop, Just put stop them in front. Yelling. Calm down. <gasps> Calm down. Oh, oh. You I don't know you. Dude, please, put it, just, just put them in front of me. I'm about to have a panic attack like about, I'm not going anywhere. You, you. Can, you can handle them. You can, watch, watch out. Let go. Let go. Josh, please. take a breath. I can't. I can't. Why? I can't. I can't. Because I'm claustrophobic. Stop please. moving your hand. God, put them behind. Put them in front. I don't give a what you. We're going to do a double cut. Stop so that's how cops are supposed to make arrests. Who knew? Not me. No one brought out tasers or pepper spray or water cannons. Instead, the cops continued to coddle him. Finally, Josh was taken down to the police station and charged with felony battery by strangulation. But just a month later, the long hand of the law must have been in bandages, because guess whose charge was reduced to simple battery? While one cop was doing everything he could to throw his badge around, the next one was doing everything he could to hide his identity. On February 21st, 2021, real Rancho officers investigating a hit and run found skid marks that led them to a whole other car that had nothing to do with their investigation. And it wasn't in good shape. The car had clearly been involved in a crash, but the man behind the wheel didn't agree. What's going on? What's up, man? What happened? No, I'm just hanging out, dude. What happened with the crash? Well, I don't know nothing about the crash, dude. Okay. You don't know nothing about, is this your car? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what happened? Nothing. Okay, where do you live at? You have your driver's license with you? Thank you. Can I see that please? I, I do. Can, yes. I, can I see it please? Do you need it? For yes. What reason do you need it for? Because you were just involved in a crash and I'm making okay. sure who you are and what's going on here. That's all. You have any guns in the car? I do not have any okay. guns in the car. Okay. Are you first off, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm I'm No good. no I'm injuries. Good. Dude, I'm I'm good. Okay, what what happened with the crash here? Dude, I'm not I'm just hanging out, dude. That that doesn't make sense, okay? No, I, I know, I know. What happened with the crash? Yeah, I'm, I'm not involved in any crash or anything. No, you like are that. involved in a crash. No, I'm not. <laughs> but like everything that had come out of his mouth so far, that was also a lie. It's like he thought if he ignored the cops long enough, they would just disappear. But he's not in Narnia. Huh? Have you seen what your car looks like? Have I seen my car? Yeah. Oh. I'll try to get his name and stuff, I guess. What's right? your name, bud? Yeah, you're involved in a crash. You're not involved in a you crash. You obviously haven't yeah, seen yeah, your front yeah. tire, have you? Yeah. It's completely I'm, I'm, folded I'm, I'm, over. I'm not involved in a crash. Yeah, you are, because you can see your tracks coming right here. Okay. Okay, so what's your name? But when he continued to refuse an ID, the cops were done playing games. What's your deal, man? Get out of the car. It's police. Get out of the car. You no, were involved in a crash, you. okay? I got you. I got you. Okay? I got you. Give me your no, phone. I'm not involved in okay. a crash. Turn around. Turn Face around and put your hands behind your back for me. Put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. That's when they saw an Albuquerque Police Department insignia on his cell phone and put two and two together. Are you an officer? Are you are you a police officer? Said You are. With who? With APD? Okay. Are you going to talk to us now? Well, I'm, I'm not. Am I doing anything stupid to you? Guy no, 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 no. Okay, we, we've told you numerous times, okay? We want you to calm down and talk to us. I just told you I'm just sitting here on the road. Okay, I understand that. Watch this arrest go from 100 to zero once they realize he was a cop. Go ahead and spin around here. So, okay. Explain to us what happened. I'm just hanging out here on the road. No, you're not just hanging out okay. on the road. Okay, how long have you been a police officer? Uh, does that have does that have anything to do with? What I'm trying to get, rest, gather okay. what you're doing here. What okay. I'm doing here is I'm hanging on the road. You're hanging on the road here. here. That's okay. what I'm doing. Okay. What's what's going on tonight? Did you crash? What what's going no, on? I did not crash. Okay. Is this your car? 
This, this is my car. Yeah. This is your car. Yeah. Okay. Where were you coming the, from? The title is in my. Where name, were you yeah. coming from tonight? Where I'm coming from tonight? Yes. The. You don't know where you're coming from. No, I I, I do know where I'm coming oh, from, but right. does that have a, does that have anything to do with? I'm trying to figure out what happened. Okay. Explain have, to me what have, happened with the crash. With you what, got, you, with, with, your car's with, crashed, and we have a white with, car up there that's crashed. I have no idea about that crash up there. Okay. I I do not. Okay. I really don't. Okay. So explain to me how you crashed your car. I did not crash my car. Okay. Why is it crashed then? I have no idea. Okay. Who crashed it? I have no idea. You have no idea? No, okay. I don't. you have your driver's license with you? I do. Let me see it. By now, a regular person would have been in cuffs face down on the ground, but I guess that's only a crime for people who don't have badges. His cagey behavior made the officers think he was part of another accident. So tell me I, what I, happened. No, I, I, I watched, I saw, I saw that car actually over there. Okay. Crash. Okay. And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm just hanging out here by myself. Okay. Okay. So how did you see that car crash if you're sitting right here? Because I'm sitting here and it's going that way. That's why. Yeah. It's, it's going that way? No, it's going this way. Yeah. Okay. It actually wasn't going that way. No, it, it was. It was. It was going that way. The officers ran the car's plates, and it came back to Fuad Sherer, an APD officer. They also found out what had happened. Two separate crashes. This is, this one's a single vehicle. Okay, so this car's a single vehicle. He takes out this tree. Fuad was eventually taken to the station where he had one thing on his mind. Pretty sure this wasn't his first rodeo, and this entitled cop had one more request. So, can I either, like, can I sleep in a chair or can I get another space blanket, dude? Another space blanket? Like, or I'll, or I'll just sleep in a chair, like, whatever is easier for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you gotta stay in here in that space no, blanket. No, I got you. But can I get another space blanket other than that one? funny how the cookie crumbles because just one month earlier this guy had been the arresting officer on a DWI. And then she has bloodshot watery eyes, she slurred speech, I asked if she had alcohol, she said yes. You'd think he'd know better. Fuad was later charged with aggravated driving while under the influence of intoxicating liquor or drugs, failure to give immediate notice of accidents, and not possessing a driver's license. His license was suspended and he is no longer an active law enforcement officer with the APD.